When the Navajo Nation established its own college, it was the first time in U.S. history that an Indian tribe took control of its higher education. I love telling this story. Um, it's my favorite story. It's 1967. Then Chairman Raymond Naka decides and makes a proclamation. He brings in people from the BIA. He brings in corporate leaders into Winter Rock. And he tells them the Navajo Nation is going to start a college. And the people around the room, BIA and other people, started laughing. And this one executive said, slapped the, the table and said, my God, Mr. Chairman, you don't mean to tell me you Navajos think you can start a college. And Raymond Akai stood up, looked around the room, and said, I'm not asking for your permission. I'm telling you what we're going to do. My name is Monty Russell. Um, I'm president of the Net College, a member of the Navajo Nation. Ke'ani Nishle, Matit, clan of Scotland, Bashishin, Ashin, Shiche, Ado, German, Shanella, Seneca, Denesha. Russell says that the birth of Diné College arose out of a need by the tribe to incorporate its own values, language, and point of view into its curriculum to better serve its community. I think one of the things about tribal colleges, the Diné College, is that it's a college that was built for us. Every other college was built for them, if you will, all right, making it very simplified. But when it's built for us, then who is us? Who are we? And that's a question that Indian country asks itself all the time. And it becomes then a definition of identity, what it means to be Navajo in this case. My name is Tristan Black. My first clan is the Towering House clan. My second clan is the Bitterwater clan. My maternal clan is the Folding with Arms clan. And my paternal clan is the Many Goats clan. I'm from Salie, Arizona, and also a place known in the area as where they pile up the rocks. Black went to high school at Navajo Preparatory School in Farmington, New Mexico, which is the tribe's flagship private high school for Navajo students. He enrolled in Diné College right out of high school because he wanted to learn more about his culture. I was scrolling through the a list of available degrees and certificates and I came across the Nest Studies. And I thought, you know, this is the higher education institution of the Navajo people. Why not learn and get more in-depth knowledge about who we are as Diné people? Which I've come to learn is, you know, we are the five-fingered human stewards of the earth. Black majored in Diné studies in indigenous education. He says he hopes to return one day to Navajo Prep as a teacher. So my plans after the master's program is to go back to Navajo Prep because I really believe that, you know, in, in our Diné way of thinking is when you give something, there's always that return that you get back. Or if you're given something, it's obligation to give something back. So I thought, you know, what better place than Navajo Prep to give back to and build my experience there and working with high schoolers. And eventually down the road, coming back here to Diné College, because, you know, again, this is the higher education institution of the Navajo people. Hello, my name's Harley Interpreter. My clans are Weaver People Clan, born for San Carlos Apache, and I am from Forest Lake. Arizona. I am a student of Diné College. I am considered a senior and very close to graduating as well. Interpreter is majoring in psychology grounded in Navajo culture as a way to improve mental health services to her tribe. A lot of the groundwork is in kinship. Um, the saying um, that we are able to move forward by knowing who we are and our past um, and on, on top of that, we also get to learn cultural aspects, um, Navajo, um, Diné knowledge, cultural knowledge. Harley says it was her volunteer work that informed her decision to major in psychology. Well, I got to volunteer over at Adobe, and that is a woman's shelter. So I got to volunteer several hours throughout the semester and 
I really got to know more about the MMIW Missing, Murdered, and Indigenous Women movement was about, as well as other surrounding issues like the Me Too movement, as well as getting to know the different kinds of circumstances that come with the people that come for those resources, as well as just what is needed from our part. I get a lot of questions from people about what has been the hardest part of having a college open during the pandemic or what has been the best part and all that. And the answer is actually the students. And Harley and Tristan are examples of that. You know, they both have different stories, but they're very similar. You know, they have the temerity to say, I'm gonna finish my education no matter what. Nothing's gonna get in my way. I think the Net College is always gonna have a special place in my heart because it really grounded me in who we are as Navajo people, but it also gave me what we call weapons, educational weapons. You know, in our Navajo stores, we had monsters, and our Che, Tobajishin and Nayet and Azganda, the Monster Slayer twins, they kill those monsters. And so we're taking that same teaching here at Dinette College. It, they're giving us the weapons to fight our modern monsters on Navajo poverty, hunger, uh, domestic violence, social uh, deviance, you know, those are our modern monsters we're facing right now, the pandemic, you know. So we have students that are becoming researchers, biologists, environmental scientists, and being a part of the culture side of it. So that's things where they're giving us those tools to fight our modern monsters into the future and into our careers. So I think that's one of the things that's been the most rewarding, sad, hopeful, and you can put any word you want in there about this pandemic, is that it really has created an opportunity to see the true character of our students, the true character of what it means to be Navajo. And, you know, Tristan and um, Harley are two people that are just indicative of that and are just so proud to say they're part of the Warrior family.